Hi, and welcome back to Football Made Simple. We're here with an in-depth tactical analysis of the match between Chelsea and Manchester United as they battled for a place in the top four. It was a massive result for Chelsea with a one all scoreline thanks to an opener from one matter which was cancelled out by Alonso. Sarri and Oli's tactical choices in this match were fascinating and I can't wait to dig into them. But just before we do, I'd appreciate it if you liked, subscribed and shared the video to help grow the channel. If you have any video suggestions, tweet them in to add football made simple. But for now, let's dig into the tactics. The home team lined up in a 4-4-2 diamond, with Young, Bailly, Lindelof and Shaw at the back, whilst Herrera, Matic and Pogba took care of the midfield, with Mata predominantly at the tip of the diamond. Rashford and Lukaku completed the lineup. Sarri stuck to his trusted 4-3-3. Aspilicueta, Rudiger, Luis and Alonso made up the back four. Jorginho, Kante and Kovacic were the midfield trio, and William, Higuain and Aiden Hazard completed the attack. Now, let's take a look at the in-game tactics, focusing on the four main areas of tactical periodization. A video explaining all of these terms is linked in the cards now. Let's start with how United lined up in their offensive organization during the build-up phase, and at the same time how Chelsea chose to defend this. When building up, United used their midfield numbers to their advantage. One of their wider midfielders, usually Pogba, would drop deeper alongside Matic to provide passing options and create passing lanes for centre-backs. This meant that in the build-up, their midfield had a double pivot. At the same time, by dropping deeper, Pogba freed up the left-hand channel for Luke Shaw to advance further forward as well. Chelsea would alternate between high pressing and deeper blocks. Kante and Kovacic are highly mobile, allowing them to press higher up the pitch. They look to cut off passing options higher up the field and force errors from United defenders who are not particularly comfortable on the ball. As United moved a bit higher up the pitch, this is where Oli's choice of formation paid dividends. When further up the pitch, Pogba would alternate between moving into the left-hand channel and staying more central, as you can see in his heat map. With Chelsea attempted to press high up, one matter created a tactical problem for them. He would push high, even going into a false 9 position as shown by his positional map. Meaning that Jorginho would either have to not join the press, which would allow a United midfielder time on the ball, or if Jorginho did press, it left matter with space between the lines. This left space in the channels where United could again use the pace of Rashford and Lukaku with either long through passes into the channels or quick transition through Mata in order to create chances. When they were under constant pressure, Chelsea would drop into a 4-5-1 but United would look to use quick passes before Chelsea could regain their shape. Oli's tactics are exactly the reason why they scored. You can see Pogba occupying the left channel here and Aspilicueta aggressively marking him. Mata uses the space between the lines well, moving backwards and taking Jorginho with him. This gives Lukaku space in the pocket to turn, and Luke Shaw uses the space behind Aspilicueta to make a run. Mata, in his attacking role, then gets on the end of it. Now let's have a look at how Chelsea found success in the match, starting with their attack. As usual they look to play out from the back, with Jorginho receiving the ball off the centre-backs. However, United often use Mata to either man-mark him or cut passing lanes towards him as they would rather have Chelsea centre-backs building up the play. They were trying to force Chelsea into long aerial passes as their front line did not have a large aerial presence. To counter this, as Jorginho was marked and taking men away, Aiden Hazard would drop into the left-hand channel to begin the play. This would free up space beyond him for Alonso, who was aggressive when going forward as shown by his heat map. In addition, Kovacic and Kante were willing to run up into any spaces vacated. This would also free up space for Hazard to then go central later on in the build-up. In this phase, United were defending in a solid 4-4-2 diamond. and maintaining their discipline, so Chelsea were aggressive with their fullbacks trying to push the United defence back to create space for others. The aggression of the fullbacks can be shown in the goal, with Alonso following in on the error from De Gea. Another major weapon for Chelsea was the counter-attack. 
On the attacking transition, they would use the pace of Kante, Willian and Hazard, and even the fullbacks to flood forward. However, Iguain often strayed offside, so Chelsea were not able to take advantage of the space behind the fullbacks. In the end, a stalemate was the result, although XG was in favour of Chelsea with 1.65 compared to 1.12. However, this was one of Oli's better tactical performances, but Chelsea will be happier with the result. If you enjoyed this, remember to like, subscribe and take a look at the other videos on our channel. We do a lot more than in-game analysis, so have a look. That's all for today, and remember, keep it simple.